I'm Kim, and this is The Buzz. It's May, and there are a ton of really great things happening this month all across Eastern Oklahoma. So without further ado, let's get started. Our first event this month is for those of you who live down south towards Durant. Downtown Durant is hosting their Jazz Fest first Friday on May 7th from 2 p.m. to 8 p.m. I just love when downtowns come together to host events like this. Businesses stay open later, there's food trucks, games, and people just come and fall in love with their town all over again. This Jazz Fest is all about that. There will be music playing in the streets for all ages to enjoy, so get out there and be part of your community. You can visit DurantMainStreet.org to learn more about the Jazz Fest and other cool upcoming events. May 15th through May 16th, head over to the beautiful Beaver's Bend State Park in Broken Bow for the Beaver's Bend Rod Run. The Rod Run is a car show featuring over 150 street rods, all made before 1973. These cars are going to be cool, and you can't ask for a more gorgeous place to display them than Beaver's Bend State Park. This event is hosted by the Kaimichi Street Rod Association, and there will be plenty of games and activities for the whole family to enjoy. So if you live in the area or you just feel like taking a road trip, then mark your calendars and be prepared to have a blast. Our next event is all about the blues and cues. Come hungry to the Bixby Rotary Barbecue and Blues Festival on Friday, May 7th and Saturday, May 8th. The barbecue at this competition is going to be amazing. How do I know? Because Bravado Smoking Team is going to be there competing. And let me tell you, our ribs will change your life. If you don't believe me, then go try them for yourself. You won't be disappointed. Other than the fact that the barbecue here will be killer, there will also be a ton of great live bands and a fun kid zone to let the little ones play in. You can buy a whole tasting kit for $10 and vote on who you think has the best cook. I mean, we are the obvious choice, but go ahead and try out the other team stuff too. You can check out the BixbyRotaryBarbecue.com to get more information. The Castle of Muskogee is hosting its famous Renaissance Fair this month. You can catch all the courtly action from May 1st to June 6th. If you've never been to the Castle of Muskogee's Renaissance Fair, then you have to go at least once just to see what all of the fuss is about. It's full of entertainment, cold drinks, and plenty of good food. So pick any sunny day this month and be transported to 1569 England with jousting nights, birds of prey, and royal decrees that the fun will go on. You can look at prices and learn more about the festival at okcastle.com. Our fifth event this May is down in Idabel, Oklahoma. May 1st through May 4th will be the Red Slaw Birding Convention. Birding experts and novices can come and enjoy watching the near 300 species of birds in the marshes and wetlands that cover over 6,000 acres of land that make up the Red Slaw Wildlife Management Area. Some of the birds that you'll be able to see at the convention are the white ibis and the wood stork. If this sounds like something that you, or maybe somebody you know would love, then be sure to tag them in this episode of The Buzz or send it to them personally so they can get all the information about this event. For more information yourself, you can visit idabellchamber.com. We're headed back to Bixby for this one. The Youth Fishing Derby is taking place on Saturday, May 15th. This event is for kids ages two to 15 years old. They will compete for first, second, and third place prizes. But if you don't know how to fish, that's okay too. Someone will be there to teach you, so bring your poles and bait to Lake Bixoma on the 15th. This event is from 8 a.m. to noon, and there will be free hot dogs, drinks, and t-shirts. You can visit BixbyOptimist.com for more details. It's that season again, and I'm not talking about spring. I'm talking about baseball and softball season. 
If you love watching softball games, then you might be interested to know that Muskogee is actually hosting the NJCAA Region 2 Softball Tournament at the Muskogee High School Fields. The JUCO teams will be playing to see who advances to the national tournament, so the competition at this event is going to be fierce. The tournament is Thursday through Sunday, May 13th through 16th. If you can't catch the games in person, then you are in luck because Bravado will be live streaming all four days. You can keep tabs on your favorite team at home or the office. We are also streaming the NJCAA Region 2 Baseball Tournament the following week in Enid. Same setup here. These teams are competing for a spot in the national tournament, so the games are going to be good. The baseball tournament will be streaming the 17th through the 20th of this month, and you can watch it on Bravado's Facebook, YouTube, or bravadowireless.com. Next up is the Dancing Rabbit Music Festival in McAllister. The Dancing Rabbit is a reoccurring series that features many bands and musicians, ranging from local stars to nationally renowned artists. This event is free to attend. There will be food trucks and beer gardens spread all throughout downtown McAllister on Saturday, May 8th. Grab some food and a drink, then sit back and enjoy some music under the Oklahoma stars. This is the epitome of a perfect Oklahoma spring night, if you ask me. Our next event is a classic Oklahoma tradition. I mean, I can practically smell the strawberries just thinking about this event. The strawberry pies, the strawberry ice cream, the strawberry lemonade. If you haven't guessed it yet, I'm talking about the Stillwell Strawberry Festival. The festival is Saturday, May 8th this year. The festival is, as well, all about strawberries and celebrating the strawberry capital of the world. Over 30,000 visitors come to this event to enjoy the food, desserts, carnivals, pageants, and 5K. The Stillwell Strawberry Festival is your picture-perfect Americana festival, packed full of fun events, great people, and, of course, fair food. You don't want to miss it. So, to see everything that this event has to offer, visit strawberrycapital.com. Our last and final event this May is the Atoka Wildflower and Pollinator Festival on May 1st. Hopefully, all of these April showers are going to bring us all the May flowers that make springtime in Oklahoma so beautiful. We know we aren't giving you a lot of warning with this event since it is the first weekend of May, but we still wanted to share it with you since it's such a cool celebration. The Atoka Wildflower and Pollinator Festival is all about celebrating the creators and pollinators that are so essential to bringing us a beautiful spring. This event is from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. in downtown Atoka. You can visit the Atoka Plant and Pollinator Festival Facebook page for more information. All right, that's all of our events for this month. Don't forget to go like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, or hit that little bell on YouTube so you never miss any of the action. I'm Kim, and that's The Buzz.